Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 3.18.8.0. This week we got some new items as well as some much needed performance updates to Unturned. I know I've seen a whole lot of comments regarding performance in Unturned. Today is your lucky day. We have some new options in the graphics menu that allow you to lower the graphics settings even lower or have some more things to tweak. Now, currently, I have my water set on high, which means that there are no reflections on the water, but upon setting this to ultra, it shows reflections. Now, you'll notice that it doesn't show all reflections, and now this is where this new planar reflection quality comes into play. You can now tweak the amount of reflections that show on the water. Previously, having the water on ultra was extremely intensive. Now there is a little bit of an in-between. If you weren't previously able to run water on ultra settings like it did, like this, this is what it used to look like. Now you can tweak settings to show the amount of objects that show in that reflection. Now if you aren't able to run water on ultra settings at all, there's also new settings to help out super low end computers, especially ones that are experiencing issues when it rains. Now I've noticed that there's been quite a few comments about people whose performance drops a ton when it rains and that may be due to these reflection puddles. Now we have the option of completely disabling reflections on these puddles like they currently are now, or you can tweak the amount of stuff that shows on them as well. Settings aside, there has also been massive performance updates to the reflection quality of the ocean as well as the quality of the scope performance when it is set to the off setting. As you may know, you have the ability to turn the scope quality on off, which will disable the whole dual rendering thing and allow you to zoom into your scope like this, and the performance on this has been increased as well. Additionally, when pressing M and going in the Groose menu, there's now the radio frequency option, which allows you to set your radio frequency so you can communicate with the members of your group via walkie-talkie or earpiece. You could also use this to communicate between groups by setting them both on the same frequency. Lastly, I built this little house up here to showcase the new item that was added in this week's update it has been needed for quite a while uh, in regards to signs previously we've just had signs like these where you stick them in the ground uh, and then that's how you you type on them you just well I guess it typed it on the wrong side but let's say I wanted to give my my town a title or my home a title would be like uh, booms bomb shelter and then then that's how you'd be able to show people what your house looks like but it's a little lame because it's just a sign stuck out there in the front now we have these new placard signs these have been needed for a long time these probably work the way that you would assume they work uh, these can be placed on the walls they look so much better when you can place them on the wall like this they work just like you know a torch or a, a cage light or anything along those lines they just snap to the side of the wall and if you want to name your house you could easily just put it right there and then type in booms bomb shelter and that looks quite a bit better than a sign stuck on the ground in front this also makes naming lockers a lot easier as well previously you had to slap a sign on the top of them but it really wasn't all that good now you can just stick them right on the locker themselves it also makes it useful for when you have lockers that are too high uh, when they were too high like this you had to kind of put a sign in front of them or maybe to the side of them now you can individually name each locker by just snapping the signs on the side of them just like so and then you can name this one as food and then this one as ammo and it's easily specified here and it's it there's so much better there's so much better here um i'm definitely going to be using these placards for everything i need though these signs may also still be useful so they are still in the game the crafting recipe for these placards are the exact same thing as making a sign so it requires i think six planks and one stick uh, i know it doesn't really have a stick there but it's still the same crafting recipe so uh, you don't need to learn anything new but anyway, that's pretty much everything that was added in Unturned 3.18.8.0. Nelson also created two tutorials of his own on his YouTube channel. Be sure to check those out. There is one tutorial showing you guys how to create custom songs for the radio, and another showing you guys how to upload skins to the curated workshop. I'd be sure to check them out, especially if you're planning on creating curated skins, since he also includes in that tutorial some things that he looks out for in regards to accepted curated workshop skins. Both of those tutorials will be in the description down below, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out.